Hi, I'm James Bruce with MakeUseOf.com and this is the M3D Micro, the first fully assembled 3D printer to hit a price point of $350. We backed it as a Kickstarter last year and hey, it's actually delivered and it's actually pretty good. It's a standard FDM or fused deposition modeling style of printer, which means the print head moves around in 3D space with an XYZ axis and deposits layer upon layer of melted plastic. So nothing groundbreaking there. Print quality goes all the way up to 50 microns per layer, which is actually a lot better than some of the more expensive printers. It'll also work with any standard 1.75 millimeter PLA or ABS filament, though more on ABS printing later. However, they do sell branded uh, cartridges like this, which come with a little cheat code on the front. These cost uh, $13 for a 225 gram filament spool, by the way. So the cheat code, when you type that in, um, that tells the printer everything it needs to know about the optimal settings for that particular filament. So the color and what temperature is best, for instance. The print area is very small, about 10 by 11 centimeters on the base, rising to 16 centimeters in height, though that actually tapers off a bit towards the top because of this support structure. So the actual area you can print is a little bit more limited than that, but that's the trade-off you get for the price. It does, however, have auto-leveling and auto-calibration, so there's not a lot for you to set up. It's pretty much just drag and drop and then click print. The small build area leads to an overall small desktop sized printer, only 7.3 inches cubed total. And really what little space there is has been made very efficient use of. There's not a lot in there other than the space to build the print. The truth is that the larger the print area that you have, the more likely it is to spectacularly fail. So having a small print area is a good compromise for beginners like me. Like any 3D printers which claim to print in ABS but don't include a heated print bed, inevitably larger prints with ABS will warp and distort and then completely fail. So you should be alright with small prints as long as you use a build tack surface, which you probably should be anyway. They cost about $10-15 for a little square and you can reuse it multiple times. Um, again though, if you're trying to print with ABS, don't buy the, the M3D Micro, this isn't for you. Probably the most intricate part I've got out of it so far is this. Though even with a successful print, the rafts and the support structures do add a lot of wasted plastic. Check this out though, this is actually really cool. If I put a light around the North Pole, it projects a perfect grid onto the space below it. I'm sure there's a Wikipedia page on why that is, but I'm not a mathematician and I have no idea what kind of black magic that is. Anyway, back to the printer. It does in fact have space for a spool of filament to be loaded underneath the print bed here, but it's recommended that you use the external loading port on the top. However, it doesn't come with an external filament holder. If you go to their website, you can download some 3D models to print out this cute little filament holder, and in a funny way it's really quite satisfying. And by that I mean that many of us will get a 3D printer and think, oh this is awesome, now what am I actually going to print? But by having to print the spool holder, you kind of get that sense of achievement that, look, this is a really useful bit of kit, I just printed a 3D part, which probably should have been included but wasn't. Should you buy the M3D Micro? Well, this is a tough one. This is the cheapest, most affordable, fully assembled, consumer-friendly 3D printer out there at the moment. However, it's not perfect. There's still some technical knowledge that you need and some skills you'll have to pick up very quickly to make good use out of one. Um, but if that's the price point that you've been waiting for, the magical $350, then I see no reason not to go out and buy one of these right now. You're going to get some great quality prints, even if they are a tad small. However, if you have some technical knowledge and DIY know-how, you might prefer to pick up something like an open source Rostock kit, such as this half-built one that I've got here in the process of being built. 
This was only $300 delivered and supposedly you get a better build quality and it's also a bigger build area as well. So that's another option to consider. That said, I am really impressed with this little M3D Micro for $350. Like I say, you can get some real quality prints out of it, even if they are a little small. Anyway, head on over to makeuseof.com to read my full review and enter to win this very printer, which we'll be sending on to someone at the end of the competition. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more great weekly reviews and giveaways.